A very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to this training session of Codevo 2022. This is the ninth session. I welcome you all a very good evening, good morning or good afternoon according to your country. Hello, Poonam. Hello, everyone. I request you to share the link with your student or with your fellow classmates, with your friends, and ask them to join this session because it's going to be very great. It's going to be very interesting. Good evening. All of you. Hi, Trisha. So share the link with your friends and fellow classmates and ask them to join. Good evening, Code Attack. Good evening, Athar. Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. We will share the link and I will show you how to install PictoBlocks. Don't worry. Good evening, all of you. Hello, everyone. It's so nice to see you all after so long. Hello. Hello, my boss. All right. So, yeah, we can start the session now. And uh, I hope you are very excited as I am because this session is going to be very interesting. And, yeah. So, before starting the session, I would like all of you to join the Telegram group. You can scan the QR code on the screen. You can click the link in the description box. Or you can click on the link that is in the chat box. So please join the Telegram group because that is where we will be giving you all the links for the session. We will be giving you, providing you support. Our team is there. We are there 24-7 to give you support, updates. So I missed the last, last week class. No problem, Sandy. You can watch uh, the recorded lessons. No problem. You can only use PictoBlocks for the project. So join the Telegram group because this is where we will be giving you all the support and updates. No forgetful uh, live. Uh, you can only use PictoBlocks. No other application. Okay. So I'm going to play a small little video, which will be giving you guys a detailed overview about Codeva 2022, what this competition actually brings for you and how you can participate, what kind of projects you can make and some other information that is necessary for the participation. So yeah, please watch this video. For the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids. Codeva 2022 International 4th Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme. Save the environment. Strengthen the health infrastructure. Revolutionize the agriculture. Automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want. From stories to games, 
from software based ai projects to hardware based projects pictoblox an international ai education and coding platform you can learn to code make interactive animations and games interesting projects based on ai program actions for robots and much more with pictoblox app now available on play store you can even make your project for the competition on the go anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can yes you can either participate as a one person army or in a team of 2 with your coding buddy Follow these three easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self-learning material and AI boot camps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results. Registration for Codeva 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The last date to submit your project is 10th January 2023. You can register any time between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total, along with the cash prizes up to $1,000. All the winners will also receive a medal, certificate, and the official Codeva 2022 AI T-shirt. Participate in the biggest online AI and programming competition for kids with more than 3 lakh plus participants, 1,000 plus schools, 1 lakh plus teams from 90 plus countries. So, what are you waiting for? Registration starts today. I hope this video gave you a little overview about Codeva 2022, what it brings for you and how you can participate as well as what projects you can make for the competition. So, as you saw that we can make projects on storytelling also so this session focus on that part of theme only so we are going to make a storytelling project in this session all right so before moving to the activity before moving to the project i request all of you to download picture blocks in your device so how you can download is you have three options you can either click on the link that is there in the live chat box according to your device or you can click on the link that is in the description of the video once again according to your device and the last option that you have is you can open your browser type download pictoblocks click on the first link which is by thestempedia.com choose your device uh, if it is windows mac os linux android or ios you can choose according to your your device type and you can click on download now so that will download pictoblocks application in your device and you will be ready to make your projects for this competition okay so i hope that is clear to all of you no it's not like that people having hardware can not easily win of course last year we had winners who were you know who won the competition because they not just uh, used i would say picture blocks but they used ai ml extensions also so they made interesting projects without hardware and they want to i am being honest with you okay now coming to the activity animation in picture blocks so what we are going to do today we are going to make like a lion king story in picture blocks application so in the last session that we had at 4 o'clock we did an amazing animation of animated story of lion and zebra now what we are going to do is we okay so doing the same thing would be little 
I would say not so good for you because of, uh, if you know some of you have watched the 4 p.m. session, no problem if you haven't. That's also no problem because of course we are doing the activity once again. So a 4 p.m. session is basically just in Hindi, a little bit English, but the 7 p.m. session that you have joined right now, it's purely in English only. Okay, moving to the activity, we are going to make an animation in picture blocks. So storytelling animation, you can submit project of storytelling animation. You can, you know, some, you can make your own um, animated stories. Like, so we are going to make a Lion King story. You can make Shinshan, Torimon. All of these are animated stories, right? You have watched a lot of movies of Dorimon. There's, there's a cartoon per man. Formance and Friends, Peppa Pig, everyone have watched either, you know, some of the animated cartoons. Either these or some any other cartoons, but animated ones. So you know that they are also having animation in it, right? They work on animations. So what they do, uh, Shen Shan uh, wakes up and uh, her, his mom, I guess her name was Mixi. She cooks food. Uh, she gets Himavari ready for um, the day. She gets Shinshan ready for the day. And you all know that Shinshan is always late. And he misses school bus every day. So yeah, these kind of animations you can make in pick to blocks also. You just need to add extra spice. So in last session, what we did, we made a series. We started making a series of zebra and lion. And yeah, so that is what we are going to do right now too. So I request all of you to download Pictoblocks and move to Pictoblocks application. I am going to share Pictoblocks interface right now on my screen. Okay, I hope all of you are able to see Pictoblocks on the screen now. So now what we have to do is whenever we are making any story or any you know animated movie, we need some characters, right? We need characters because our story cannot be completed without characters. So what we need, we need to add characters. So in this particular storytelling project that we are making, we need two characters right now that is a lion and a zebra. So what we can do, we can delete the Toby sprite. We can click on choose a sprite, type lion, get the line situated over here. Click on choose a sprite once again, type zebra, select it and paste it here. So you can see that the zebra is, you know, a little bigger than compared to the line. So we can decrease the zebra size and make it 70. All right. And let's do one thing. Let's click on, let's duplicate this. Okay, not, let's, not, let's not duplicate this, just flip it. Okay, let's flip the zebra both the costumes and choose the costume number B for now because we want the zebra to stand and talk to the lion. Okay, so whenever you are making any animated stories or any project like that, so we need a good setup, like a background. Right now I am teaching you, so I'm sitting in a subtle background, white, plain, a little bit of beige background, but I'm sitting in a subtle background. I'm not sitting in a very noisy place having a lot of objects. So I'm sitting in a background that pleases the environment because I'm teaching you. So I need to be attentive. You guys need to be attentive. But right now, over here, we need a subtle background that suits the project. So what we need to do, we need to choose a backdrop that is also known as background. So we have a lot of backdrop drops in the library you can choose anyone but it should match the theme of our story right you cannot choose bedroom or boardwalk or city water galaxy and then put lions and zebra in it no you cannot you have to choose a specific one which matches the theme of the story so we have three backdrops that matches the theme we have one forest jungle and jungle two so let's choose jungle two, place the zebra here, place the lion over here. Yep, and that looks good. Now what we want to do. So whenever you are starting a movie or 
you know the animation movie starting up you first see the title page where the title comes where it you know other lines come that directed by produced by made by costumes by other things you have to add that right that is how the uh, animated story will be more interactive to the users so for that what you have to do is you have to paint your own sprite which contains the title let's paint our own sprite okay so you have to just hover your mouse on choose a sprite click on paint and it will open this page for you you have to click on the t refers to the text and you have to place that you know you can you have to click on the back like the area over here anywhere in the area and you can type down the name the lion king let's increase the size okay let's increase the size then what else we need to do um make sure that the size is accurate yeah let's change the color to black that suits very well let's add another text which says by so it's made by stempedia and let's add it here in between okay so what else we can do to make it more interesting we can decrease the increase the space between it and we can draw a line in the middle it will look cool yeah it's looking great so yeah we got the whole sprite ready over here but now you can see that it coming up over here makes dulls the whole thing right so now what we should do we have to choose a appropriate backdrop according to our act uh, according to the story so let's go here in the backdrops and choose a backdrop that suits like an opening backdrop you can say so we can choose this one like the lion king and yeah i think i guess yeah this suits a lot but let's place this in the middle like this great looks very good actually now what i want to do is whenever we start up the story like that means whenever we start up our animated movie i want the lion and the zebra to hide and only the lion king this title page should show up so what should i do so for that whenever we click on the green flag we want to start the script right whenever we click on the green flag we want to start the script after that what we have to do we have to hide it so we will hide the lion same thing we are going to do for the zebra don't worry we will let them uh get on the stage when we need it but right now we don't need them so when we click on green flag you can only see the title page which contains the heading the lion king by stempedia you can add your name over here of course so yeah after this i want the story to go ahead that means i want the backdrop to change that means the backdrop to change to which uh, backdrop to jungle backdrop so for that what i will do is first we before changing to the jungle backdrop we want to hide this particular sprite as well so for that what i will do we can pass on a message over here okay or we can just yeah when green flag click we want it to first wait for a few seconds and then we want this title to hide sorry we want the title to hide okay let's see let's check it out yeah great we can add a sound also let's add a sound for the title let's say i want to add a sound of clapping
Yeah, I think clapping up. This one looks good. We want it to be soft. Yeah, that looks good. Of course, you can uh, change the settings. You can make it faster, slower, louder, softer. You can fade it in. You can fade it out. It depends on you. But I'm, you know, fading it in and making it softer. Okay. Now what I want to do is. Whenever we click on the green flag, we also want the title to show up. For that, what I will do, I will use show. When we click on the green flag, I'm coding in the title, The Lion King by Stempedia. Then I want to play the sound of clapping until done. Then wait for one second and hide the Lion King title. After that, what we want to do, we want to switch to backdrop jungle 2. Okay, let's test it out. Fantastic. That looks great, right? Any um, question over here? That's great. Okay, so what we have to do now is we point the lion and the zebra to come up on the stage. Right, we want the lion and the zebra to come up on the stage. So when the heading, the title is hidden and we switch to the backdrop to jungle 2, then we want to broadcast a message of show this is a show that means that uh, we are broadcasting a message so whenever the lion receives this show message the lion will show up on the screen on the stage then same thing for the zebra when i receive show we want it to show up on the stage after that we have to code for their particular dialogues so what we can do, we can, first of all, we have to add some, you know, customize zebra's skin over here. We have to make the zebra a little dope. So in the last class, what we did, I added a chain, like gold chain with the diamond thing on zebra's neck. But this time, let's add sunglasses because that will look cool, right? Okay. So we are going to add sunglasses for the zebra. Let's try to make it cool. Okay, and now let's oh, let's group them together. Now let's add it here. I know zebra's ears are way up, but I just we have to somewhere. <laughs> Think that this is a only. I'm sorry. Okay, but you got. Of course, it's animated movie. What more do you expect? Okay, and let's make the classes cool and dope. Yeah, that looks more cool. Great. And what we can do is we can again group this. Copy this and paste it over here for this zebra skin also. Okay, so now when the zebra will receive the show, the zebra will show up on the screen as well as the line. So first what we want to do, we want the zebra to say some few dialogues. Right now we don't want the line to show up, so we can just remove it. I will tell you what's the reason behind it. We only want the zebra to show up first and we want the zebra to say something. So for that, we will go in the looks palette at the say block and we want the zebra to say, oh no, I am getting late for the party. Okay. And we want the zebra to speak it also. For that, what we have to do, we have to load in an extension 
which is text to speak so how you can load extension you can click on this particular button that is add extension button scroll down we have a lot of extensions as you can see and you have to choose the text to speech extension and we'll load up this so first let's set the voice and let's set it to a squeak and we want the okay, we want to set the voice before this and we want the zebra to say this to speak it okay now let's test it out oh no i am getting late for the party okay i don't think it's a nice sound nice voice okay let's change it oh no i am getting late for the party yeah i think that's that is more suitable okay so after this what we want we want to broadcast a message broadcast another message which is lion show and when the lion receives the message lion show we want the lion to show up on the screen we will use this block then we want to add the lion dialogues what we want to do we want the lion to say hello zebra Okay, let's name, yeah, I think yeah, Zebra is okay. Hello, Zebra. After that, we can add another message which says, where are you going? Now we want the line to speak this also. So for that, what we will do, we will first set the voice and let's set the voice to joint because that match, that match the lion, you know, voice and then we can add the speak block copy this particular text add it here in the speak okay let's test it out hello zebra where are you going cool isn't it it's it's very cool it sounds uh very similar to the lion okay now what we want because it's a heavy sound right it's a heavy heavy bold sound now we what we want to do we want the zebra to say, say something we want the zebra to greet the lion king then what we want we want first the zebra to get a message that the lion's dialogue is over for now now it's his turn to say the dialogues for that we will broadcast another message broadcast message new message and we will name it zebra one and when the zebra receives the message zebra one what we want the zebra to first greet the king hello hello my king that's that suits hello my king I am doing good. I am just heading towards the pond to drink some water. Okay. Now, first, we want it uh, to speak also. We will set this voice first, the voice to be to now, then add the speak block after each say block. Copy this dialogues and add it here. Okay, let's test this out. Hello, my king. I am doing good. I am just heading towards the pond to drink some water. Yeah, that's look that, that looks good. So after the zebra is done with his dialogue, we want to notify the lion that the zebra is done with his dialogue. Now lion can speak his part. So for that, we have to broadcast another message. We will make a new message, which is sorry, lion because this is lion's second dialogue 
So we can say when the lion receives the lion two that the scene two is ready for him. We want the lion to speak. We want the lion to say, "If you are going to get to drink some water, then why are you?" already looks like you are going out for a party without a king okay we want the line to speak these dialogues also so for that what we will do we will first set the voice to giant add the speak block copy paste the dialogues all right now let's check it out if you are going to drink some water then why are you all ready looks like you are going out for a party without a king after that we want the zebra to speak his dialogue so what we can do is we can go in events broadcast another message which is zebra 2 so whenever the zebra receives the zebra 2 message then the zebra have to speak his dialogues so the zebra will say no no my dear king how can we party without inviting the almighty okay so now we want it to speak this so for that we have to first set the voice we want the zebra to speak the following things you can just duplicate this part let's check it no no my dear king how can we party without inviting the almighty all right so right now i am open to all the doubts if you guys are having any doubt raghav which blocks are not clear to you please tell me ad squad what happened why do you want us to pause any doubts please ask your doubts everyone if you are having any doubt or if we can move forward Okay, I can write the code. No problem, AT Squad. Uh, you don't have to just uh duplicate the code. You can write your own code also. You know, right now I'm writing the code which doesn't even match the code that I wrote at four p.m. session. So the story cannot be the same, right? Even the writer cannot write the same story again and again. So yeah, you can write. You can make your own story, but yeah, you can add your own elements to it. You can add as much. parts as much episodes you want to make you can do that no need to follow up my code you can uh, take a reference from it and you can make your own story that is the main motive behind this session okay after this particular these particular set of dialogues what we want we want the lion to grunt so what we want we want to broadcast a message new message which says Lion three. When the lion receives the message, which is lion three, that means the lion is ready to speak his dialogues. Then what we want? 
we want the line to first grunt. So we have a grunt sound over here. You can see. We can make it more louder. All right. Please excuse me. Okay. Sorry. All right. After that, what we have to do, we want the line to first grind. That means you, you know, the line is angry. That why are you lying? Then we want the line to say, you know, line to the king of the jungle is a punishable. Sorry. Offense. And we want the line to speak it also. So first we will set the voice to giant and we want the line to speak these. After this, we want the zebra to run away because zebra don't know how to answer. Because lion caught that the zebra is lying because the zebra is going out for a party and the lion king is not invited there. And then the lion got hurt. That why? I mean, how can everyone party without the king being there? The jungle is, you know, uh, lion is the king of the jungle. Then how, you know, jung everybody in the jungle can have party without the jungle king being there. So lion ego got hurt. Therefore, line is saying that if you uh, so lying to a king is an punishable offense, you will be punished if you are lying. Then the zebra will get nervous and the zebra will run away. So we want that part to uh, code. We want to code that part now. So for that, we will go in events and broadcast the last message, which is for the zebra, which says zebra three. We want to go in zebra. Oh, and then grab the broad. When I receive uh, the zebra three message, then what we want the zebra to run away. So right now the zebra is at the x position of sixty seven and the y position of three. So first, let's grab this block. I will tell you why we are using it. Now let's move the zebra here slowly and steadily okay now zebra is here now the x and y position is this then we will use this block so whenever i receive zebra 3 then we want the zebra to glide to this position where he is right now but whenever we restart the story we want the zebra to be at this position therefore i have, i you know i grab this block so whenever we are restarting the story, that means whenever we are clicking on the green flag, we want the zebra to go at this particular position and hide. Okay. After gliding to this position, uh, position or before gliding to this position, let's say we want the zebra to say something. We want the zebra to say, I am sorry, Lion King. And we will set the voice to the particular voice that we have chosen earlier. Copy the dialogues. Then we want the zebra to glide away. After that, if you you know if you click on this particular block, you can see the zebra is gliding away, but the leg is showing up. This leg is still showing up. So what we have to do is after the zebra touches the edge, so this particular area is the edge okay all this area like the edges like this area right so if these are the edges so if the zebra touch the edge then we want the zebra to hide so for that what we have to do we have to use a if condition so if the zebra is touching touching means sensing so we have to go in the sensing palette and grab the touching block, which is the first block. If the zebra is touching the edge, we want the zebra to hide. So here we go. The zebra is now hidden. Okay. All right. 
but we want this condition to be checked forever. We want this condition to be checked forever because if it is not checked forever, then how we will know that the zebra is touching the edge or not. For that, we have to go in control palette and grab a forever loop and place this particular condition inside this forever loop. So that means when we are running the code, this condition will be forever checked. That means if the zebra is touching the edge, it will hide no matter how much time it takes the zebra to reach the edge. Now let's increase the gliding time and make it three because the zebra is nervous. Therefore, he cannot run that fast. So yeah. Now that is the full code. It's very simple. It's very easy. You can see that I all have done is added bunch of dialogues, bunch of scenes, cut by cut, scene by scene. I've added backdrops, a title. That is what we are doing. Sandeep Kumar, I've already taught how to create animations. The first session that we had, it was how to create um, animations only where we created the Toby walking animation. You can watch that. It will help you out. I will come to your doubts. Um, I will come to your doubts. Just be with me for another two minutes. I will come to your doubts. Now let's save this project. Let's save this project. Name it the Lion King. This is a storytelling project. So let's, yeah, just let's like story and save it and the project is being saved now let's test the whole script let's click on the full screen more and test the whole script by clicking on the green flag all right here we go oops one thing it is coming up on the lion the lion king this title is coming up on the stage the jungle stage we don't want it like that so for this, what we have to do, we want to switch to backdrop light. Then we want the title to show up. Okay, this just one small little error, but no problem. Let's test it out again. Yeah, correct. Oh no, I am getting late for the party. Hello, Zebra. Where are you going? Hello, my king. I am doing good. I am just heading towards the pond to drink some water. If you are going to drink some water, then why are you all ready? Looks like you are going out for a party without a king. No, no, my dear king. How can we party without inviting the Almighty? You know lying to the king of the jungle is a punishable offense. I am sorry, I Lion King. So this is the animation. This is how you create animated stories in picture blocks so you can more uh, add more animations and make it more interesting if you want to but yeah now one thing that you all were asking me in the section was this that can the lion speak like the can the lion and the zebra can speak and say the dialogue simultaneously yes they can and how i'm going to show it to you all right so what we want First, to grab this out and just do this. And whenever the zebra, whenever the lion receive lion show, then we want to set the voice to giant and we want the lion to speak these. Okay, now let's test it out. I'm just doing this part only for you guys so that you can see that, yeah, we can do it. Oh no, I am getting late for the party. Hello, Zebra. Where are you going? Hello, my king. 
I am doing. Did you check? So this is the lion is saying the dialogue and speaking the dialogue at the at the same time. Let's test it out again. Oh no! I am getting late for the party. Hello, zebra. Where are you going? So this is how you have to code. All you need is to whenever the Lion King receives the Lion Show message, it will show up. Say the following dialogues. The same block we have to use when I receive the Lion Show particular message. Then we want to set the voice and speak these dialogues. So this is how the Lion will speak as well as say at the same time. So for me, the speaking block asks the information about me. I didn't get you, Suresh. Okay, so now I'm open to all the doubts that you guys have. So please ask your doubts. If you don't have any doubt, I request all of you to please fill the attendance come feedback form because that helps us a lot to maintain the record of who all are watching the session, who all are enjoying the session, and if you are benefit from these sessions or not. So I'm open to all of your doubts now, please. Instead of forever lock block, which block we can use? Raghav, um, right now, I guess using forever block would be better only because we want the condition to be checked in a forever loop only. We don't want the zebra to vanish before touching the edge. And we want the condition to be checked forever. Can we change the language, sir? Yes, you can. Sandy, you can change the language. Let me show it to you. So if you want to change the language, what you can do is you can just go in text and speech and set the language. So I want to set the language to suppose, let's say Hindi. So I have to write down Hindi dialogue only. Hello, Zebra, where are you going? You can uh, see, you can feel the difference in the accent. But here, if I want it to speak in Hindi only, then what I have to do, I have to copy paste this particular block and I have to translate this text to Hindi. So I can translate it on Google. I can just a second. I'm translating it for you. All right. Now you will see. Hello, Zebra. Okay, so this is how you can uh, get the sprite to say something in different languages. I hope it is clear to you. Any other doubt, anyone? If not, I request you to please fill the attendance come feedback form. It is there in the YouTube live chat and it is there in the description box or you can scan the QR code there on the screen and you can fill the feedback form link feedback form. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, so sir, I'm not getting the block to the block more. It is asking me the information minutes, please explain. So um, Suresh, you have to, uh, you know, register in PictoBlocks. You have to log in or register in PictoBlocks. Then only it will allow you to use extensions. So you have to first register yourself. So yeah, that's it for today's session. I hope everything is clear to you. If it is not clear, you can join the DAO session tomorrow at the same time. Sandeep is asking, can you please give me some example of more animations? Sandeep, there are a lot of examples of animated stories. You can make any animated story. Like I have made Jungle, uh, The Lion King. You can make a Jungle King. You can make a story of a, you know, a lost boy who is lost, who, who lost his parents and who is trying to find them. You can make any story. Let the director, the producer out from you. Become Salman Khan if you want to. You can make your own stories. That's yeah, you can make any animated story if you want to. You can make an underwater animation story of Nemo. 
trying to find uh, uh, the Nemo's dad trying to find Nemo with the help of Dory. You can you can make any animated stories. I hope it is clear to you. All right. So please fill the feedback form. If you guys have any other doubts, I will see you guys tomorrow in the doubt session. You can join the doubt session at the same time. So we have one doubt session, which is from five to six and another doubt session that is from seven to eight. You can join anyone and uh, any one of the doubt session and you can ask me your doubts over there. So yeah, thank you so much for joining this session. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.